And today I'm going to tell you about myotonic dystrophy type 2 and our work on myotonic dystrophy type 2 and RAND translation in the brain. Myotonic dystrophy type 2 is a multisystemic disease. There are actually two types of myotonic dystrophy, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is caused by a CTG expansion in which three of the four letters of the genetic code are repeated extra times. And myotonic dystrophy type 2 is caused by a very similar expansion mutation. There's a CCTG expansion. There's a, been a big puzzle in the field of myotonic dystrophy for many years because it appeared that there were no proteins that were made. The purpose of our paper was to dig in further and to really ask the question of whether there may be other, other mechanisms involved. And the reason we came to ask these questions were that while we were studying other diseases, including spinocerebellar ataxia type 8, and ALS, what we've noticed is that these expansion mutations can be bidirectionally expressed. In myotonic dystrophy type 2, we showed that there are actually two expansion transcripts. So the next question that we had was, could these expansion transcripts produce protein? So that's been the focus of this paper, is to show that these proteins are made and they're tetrapeptide repeat proteins, leucine, proline, alanine, and cysteine, or L abbreviated LPAC. That's the protein that's made in the CCTG direction. In the CAGG direction, it's glutamine, alanine, glycine, and arginine, or QAGR. So we showed that these proteins can be expressed using mini genes without an AUG initiation codon. The next thing we did was we wanted to figure out if they were actually expressed in, in autopsy tissue or in human brains. And we found evidence that they're there as protein aggregates. One really surprising finding was that we found that there was a completely different pattern of accumulation. So the LPAC proteins were found primarily in the gray matter whereas the QAGR proteins were found in the white matter regions of the brain. The regions that show protein accumulation also have pathological abnormalities. When we looked at the QAGR proteins in the white matter regions, we found changes to the white matter. We did another series of experiments to tease apart whether the proteins themselves could be toxic by separating out the protein from the RNA. If we overexpress those proteins in cells, they do cause problems. This could provide new opportunities to really understand fundamental causes of effects on the brain in the disease. So for many years, myotonic dystrophy has been thought to be primarily driven by RNA gain of function effects. And the way that that works is that CUG or CCUG expansion RNAs get trapped in the nuclei of cells, so in the inner part of the cell, by muscle blind proteins. And they get sequestered into what are called RNA foci or ribonuclear inclusions. And what we were wondering is if there's a relationship between RAND translation and the RNA foci. And so we did a series of experiments to address that, and we do show it, that that is correct, that if you overexpress muscle blind, you get the RNA sequestered into the nucleoplasm, and then RAND translation does not occur. So when we reduce the level of muscle blind, then we increase the level of LPAC. So either way, muscle blind is playing a role in regulating RAN translation. And we think that regulation is through the sequestration of the RNA in the nucleoplasm. So overall, our model is that early on in the disease, you have RNA gain of function problems and nuclear sequestration by MBNL. 
and then over time when the expansion gets longer or there's more RNA in the nucleoplasm that gets out into the cytoplasm undergoes RAN translation and causes toxicity to cells. We're really excited that our paper was highlighted in and made the cover of Neuron and the cover is a play on the word on the, on the acronym RAN translation which stands for repeat associated non-ATG translation. RAN the acronym in Japanese literally means chaos. And because RAN translation was so unexpected, initially it created some chaos to the translation field. So the cover is a play on words where chaos is translated into six different language rep languages representing the six different RAN proteins. And the languages also represent the truly international collaboration that we have in our lab.